From the host of Super Bowl 50 back in February of 2016, there's a look at the home of the 49ers, Levi Stadium in Santa Clara. Today, boy, what a matchup. Two NFL franchises with so much history, so much tradition, getting set to do battle here. As it'll be the Dallas Cowboys taking on the San Francisco 49ers. San Francisco set to go on offense once more. They start on the ground with McCaffrey, and he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. It'll go as a loss of a yard on the game's first play. Second down. Brandon, that's what you call being manhandled at the point of attack, and I know the offensive line gets a lot of blame for that one, but occasionally the defense just knows what you're going to do. Maybe they scouted it perfectly. Maybe someone tipped it off, but on that play, it had no chance. Throw left side. McCaffrey's got it. And just three yards on the catch there. He couldn't get away. And third and eight now. They'll be in search of eight yards here as they hope to convert the first down. Here's Purdy now on third and goal. He'll get this to Jennings over the middle. And he is going to have a Niners first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Well, you want to make sure that on an opening drive that you at least stay out there for a while and get into the flow of the game. A three and out would have been problematic, but that's a good throw there to ensure they get another set of downs. Purdy looking to throw on first down here. Got a man right side. It's McCaffrey. And he is going to lose yardage here. He was unable to shake free there, and they'll cover him for a loss of a yard. Really good defensive effort. They were all over that little swing pass out to the right side before lost yardage. Terrific read, better execution, and done with a lot of enthusiasm, wasn't it? Absolutely. They saw it all the way, ran to the football, and caused a nice play for lost yardage. And throwing here, Purdy. The first catch of the game for George Kittle. A big play there for the Niners. And the offense is saying to itself right now, only they were all this easy because he was wide open. And once he made the catch, plenty of room to work his way downfield. That was a breakdown on the defensive side of the ball, one that they want to fix immediately. On first down, this is McCaffrey. Five yards is the tally on first down. That brings up second and five. You know what really fires up offensive linemen? when the guy that is carrying the ball behind them can create his own space and break a tackle along the way. Here's a second and five. They stay on the ground, McCaffrey again. And despite the fancy footwork we saw, they'll get to him just inside the 15. Still a couple yards short of the first as the three-yard gain brings up a third down. Just not a whole lot of room to operate there on that carry. No, not at all. They did a really nice job staying in their proper places and not allowing any lanes to open up. Play action, and now here's Purdy to throw it. Pass taken in by his big tight end. And the 49ers are going to have first and goal coming up as they're able to convert there on third and two. Well, only their first drive, Charles, but they talked to us about needing to convert on third down, in particular not letting third and short opportunities slip through their fingers. Well, they were successful right there. It also tells you that they're successful on first and second down as well to get to third and manageable and make them able to pick up those first downs. Now here we are, first and goal. They've got to like what they're doing on this drive. Nice job defensively to hold them to four, and now it's second and goal. They go play action here, Purdy. And this is caught. For the moment, it's a touchdown, but multiple flags down, so 
so let's sort this out. So obviously they will decline the penalty there, and the result is six points. They got to love that. Nine play drive results in six points. That means they're doing the dictating. That means that they've described how the game's going to go. They're playing at their tempo, at their pace. If you're on the other side of the ball, if you're playing defense, defense is not methodical. They've got to go in there and shake things up and create a little havoc. Moody good with the extra point, and that makes the score 7-0. So after the made field goal by Moody, he's back out to kick this one away. And a decent return out to the 27-yard line. The Cowboys about set to take over on offense. So Prescott of the Cowboys now with a first and 10 at their own 27. So the drive's going to start with Pollard. And they'll get him down after a pickup of eight, second and two. The success there, Charles, coming on the outside of the field, the ground game. Curious to see if that continues as we progress. Yeah, we often talk about a variety in play calling and usually between run and pass. But in this case, with strictly the run game, you can be creative there as well. Run it inside, run it outside, keep the defense off balance. They go back to Pollard on second down. And he'll bring it up here to right at the 40-yard line. Six yards the pick up, and that's a first down. Second and two is prime time for a little bit of a gamble, isn't it? Open up the playbook, go play action, toss that bad boy deep. But in this situation, go ahead and give it to your back. Let him pick up the first down, keep the sticks moving. Prescott on first down. Ball delivered complete on the crossing route Gallup. Here's second and seven. Pollard will take it up the gun. And he'll be taken down just shy of midfield. A gain of three last play. This time they double it and pick up six. That was a good run, and it got to the second level. And what I mean by that is that's where the linebackers usually play. First level being the defensive front. Last level being the secondary. But the strong safety position ended up making the tackle. And oftentimes we call them a hybrid. Combination defensive back, combination linebacker. We saw the linebacker make the stop. And he will have a Cowboys first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Plenty of things to talk about here, partner. But to me, their defense gave up a touchdown on the first drive. How about how they're responding, coming back? That's a big third down pickup to keep their drive alive. So from inside Niner territory now, this is first and 10 at the 41. Going to run again here with Potter. Muscles him off. He'll get this down to the 38. And now we're going to get a stoppage. A member of the Cowboys shaken up. So as the medical staff takes a look, we'll step aside. They'll come up second and seven. They'll try to throw now. Prescott able to shake him off. And that's off the mark, incomplete. Well, you left no doubt about that one because even though he hasn't left the pocket, he's got a receiver in the area, so it's not grounding, even though there's no way that ball was going to be caught. 
First down marker at the 31. It's third down. Looking to throw. Prescott. Here's a screen now for Pollard. He's going to go out of bounds, but he takes this one down just shy of the 20. It's a gain of 16 in the Dallas first down. I like the screen being called here early in the game, especially on the opening drive, because, Brandon, when guys come out of the locker room, especially those pass rushers, they are so amped up to get to the quarterback that you can use that against them, and a screen pass is a great way of doing it. A lot of teams against good pass rushing teams, they want to run the screen. To Touchdown, Cowboys! Michael Gallup on the receiving end from Dak Prescott. And the Cowboys are able to match the opening drive touchdown against them with one of their own. A nice connection there, finding its target, and that'll put six up on the board. Just like they drew it up in their playbook and reiterated it on the sidelines, right? Perfect route, a good throw in the defense. They had no answer for that right there. Aubrey good with a PAT, and we are tied at seven. Each team's had it. Each team has scored. 7-7 seven, seven here as the kick's away. This fielded right at the goal line. The lane opens here. He's past the 30. It's a foot race. And they are not going to catch him. He's in. Touchdown, 49ers. I know a lot of special teams coaches, they just want to keep it away from him because that's what he can do. And others have egos that their players can't keep up with. And they say, challenge him, kick it to him. The way he runs as fast as he is, I wouldn't challenge him at all. I'd do everything possible to keep it away. He is just a blur when he gets a full head of steam, and he got a full head of steam there. Moody good with the extra point, and that makes the score 14-7. to seven. So let's try this again. After the kick return TD, here's yet another kickoff. And we will not see an attempt to match that return touchdown as this will be a touchback and bring it out to the 25. Second drive forthcoming here for the Dallas Cowboys. As this offense comes back out here, Charles, they're trailing in this ball game, And they've been on the sideline for a while. They did score their last time out, but they just had to watch that long, sustained drive. So we'll see if they can shake the rust off. Yeah, and that's always a, a question that you have when you have to come off the bench after having sat there for a long time. Are you ready to go? Are you loosened up? But even more so, are you mentally alert and ready to put your best product out there? And that's good for a pickup of 10 yards. And that'll leave them with a second and just a few inches left. Just the first quarter, but tackling going to be so important going forward. They've got to limit plays like that. And that's something when you see it happen early in the game and they don't get him on the ground, you can always tell that they were concerned about it going in. Because I can just tell you from my days, I remember being in college and worrying all offseason about our season open opponent, and they had a receiver that could shake and bake with the best of them. I tackled him on the first pass of the game, and the relief was incredible. I ended up having a pretty decent ball game. But if I had missed him, it would have been, been a, different a long story. night. On second down, it's Pollard. Now he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. 
Now they're going to be dealing with a third and seven. Is that one officially a loss of one? Defensively, we always know that he is tough in run support, and I think the way that he gets there is he understands what an offense is going to do before the ball's even snapped. A great job of scouting prior to the game, then reading, reacting, and taking the right path to the ball carrier. And able to find the open man. That's complete. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. Last play, they got stuffed at the line. Different story here, over 20 yards. He's such a good route runner. Shows it there on third down. Very proficient and a good pass. And you know what I've observed over the years in the NFL? The better a route runner you are, the more confidence your guy's going to have in you to go to you in important times because he can trust you being in the right spot. And they connected there and picked up a first down. Yeah, give him four yards there. It'll be second and six. I feel like I could see what he was thinking on that carry. Wanted to follow that big tackle through the hole. Ended up only getting four yards on the carry. I think he had designs on that one being bigger. Second down, Pollard again. And he'll go down here at the 35-yard line. 44 yards rushing now on eight carries for him so far. Well, they're making an effort to get the ground game going tonight. So far, it's working. I like what we're seeing from the offensive line. They seem to have the leverage going and they're controlling things and reestablishing the line of scrimmage, moving that defensive front backwards. But also like what the runner's giving us, too. It appears that he's been waiting all day long to get out here and take off. Oh, he had a man running free, but he overshot him, and it's incomplete. Through one corner, 14-7, our score. Start of the second quarter, and it's the Cowboys in possession as they've got it with a second and 10. They run straight ahead here with Pollard. And this will be a gain of five as he gets it to the 30. That second down play call was not to pick up the first down. It was to accomplish what they did to get them into a manageable third down because they had incompletion on first down, so they were behind the sticks, so to speak. They needed to make up some ground, and they did. And on third and five, this will be the eighth play of the drive. Off the play fake, Prescott. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And this will move the chains again as the tackle's going to be made at the 49ers' 20-yard line. They picked up five yards last time. Now they double it and get 10 here. Well, a lot of times when you get a manageable third-down situation like this, you have to think about your tight end, and he comes through for him, picking up the first down. From the red zone now, Prescott. Down inside the 10. And the Cowboys are going to be set up with a first and goal coming up as they get him down at the six-yard line. Well, that was a fun one to watch right there. A nice in-breaking route and plenty of room in the middle of the field. And he was able to get behind the linebackers and grab the completion for a really good pickup. Prescott. Receiving in from Dak Prescott. And the Cowboys are an extra point away from evening this one up. So they've had two drives, and he's had the two receiving touchdowns. And how about a game plan where you decide to force feed or feature someone, and it works. First two drives, as you noted, end up in touchdown passes. I think they're going to keep going to them until a defense makes any kind of an adjustment. Now the extra point up and good by Aubrey. And we are tied at 14. This one tied at 14 now as he sends this one away. And he won't return this one. He'll go down to a knee, and they'll start at the 25. Back out there comes the 49ers offense ready for their second drive. 
As this offense takes the field again, it's been a while since they've been out there. We just saw that long touchdown drive by the opposition. But remember, when this crew was out here last, Charles, they scored as well. And let's make sure we give both offensive staff some credit, and especially the offensive coordinators, because we spoke with both of them in the lead up to this game, and both were really confident in their game plans. They felt like they had scouted their opponents and focused on specific areas in practice this week to make sure that they were ready to go. And frankly, it looks like they both did an excellent job. And we'll see if those game plans can keep this streak of touchdowns going here. Here's a second and two now from the 33. McCaffrey running up the middle. And McCaffrey going to pick up a Niners first down as he'll get this up past the 35-yard line. Not too many more ideal situations in second and two in order to try and pick up a first down. They ran it and picked it up. So from the 36 now, first and 10. Purdy. Connects with Kittle underneath. And he'll be out of bounds after getting this one across the 40. So the completion good for six yards, and it'll be second down. That's a staple of this offense. Drag route to the tight end. Yeah, he was unable to use his size to break off much more yardage after the catch, but still an effective gain nonetheless. Here's Samuel. And tackled down after a gain of three. Leaves him with one yard to go on third down. Now that's some good tackling there to keep him short of that yellow line. Yeah, defensively, all I'm thinking is that on that play, get me to third down. Get me into a position where I can make one more play and get my defense off the field. Here now, third and a yard. They'll try and pick it up with McCaffrey. They juked him. And he's going to have a Niners first down as the tackle made it about the 43-yard line. We we'll often give credit to the O-line there. Two tight end formation. Those tight ends block pretty well also. Yeah, and that's one of the most dynamic positions in football now. The tight ends who can block at the line of scrimmage at the point of attack, and they can also get downfield and catch the football. On first down, Purdy. Nowhere to go here. He lost the football. Oh, and one of the linemen on the other side has got it. And to the 43. So down inside the 45 to the 43-yard line. That's where they'll take over. Prescott now after the fumble recovery. And this one quickly to Lamb. And to the 36-yard line. Taken down there after getting eight yards. Two yards to go, second down. Here's Prescott. Swinging this out for Pollard. And brought down, but not before they're inside the 25. 11 yards and a Cowboy first down. One of my old teammates called me the other day when he was watching the game. He's like, man, try to watch an NFL game and trying to count for their passing game? That's difficult. And just when you think you get everything covered, here comes a back out of the backfield. And in this case, he picks up a first down. Prescott looks to throw on first. A short one there taken in by Ferguson. This will be a short gain of three before he's brought down at the 22. They gave up the completion there, but this is what zone defenses count on. Catching the ball and not much run after the catch. From the 22 now, here's second down and seven. Prescott yet again. Touchdown, Cowboys! Three touchdown passes now for Dak Prescott. And the Cowboys have broken the tie. Well, just a sensational start for this offense, Charles. Three drives, three passing touchdowns. Is that like mentioning a perfect game in baseball? Or are we cool to do it here in football, pardon? No, I think you can do it here in football. I think perfect game in baseball, that, that's its own category. Yeah, I think you're right about that. Could not imagine a worse start for that secondary. Or let's face it, a better one for this offense. No chance they stop passing now the way that it's going. I think they're going to continue to press the ball downfield and hopefully reap the same results.
So after the touchdown, Aubrey now to kick this one away. They'll elect to bring it out here from the end zone. And he'll be stopped right around where he would have been had he gone down to a knee, maybe a yard shy of there at the 24. The 49ers offense making its way back out there. Right now they're on the wrong end of the scoreboard, and that won't change if this drive ends like the last one when they had that lost fumble. So you have a feeling taking care of the football is certainly paramount right now. Yeah, and it's not just the guy who dropped it on the last drive, is it? That means everyone who might touch the ball is getting the same message. Guys, ball security, paramount. Let's take care of it. And if we do, we've got a chance to put points on the board. The good pick up there, 22. Certainly no settling into the drive there. They came right out on the first play and attacked the middle of the field for a big gainer and a first down. A big hitter to start the drive has him up near midfield here for first and 10. McCaffrey on the counter. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. He'll lose a yard there, and it's second and 11. Defensively, he has been a presence in their backfield in the first half. Had a sack earlier, and now he comes up with a big tackle for a loss. Looking at a second and 11 now after the loss. Purdy will set up to throw it here. Completes it to the tight end, Kittle. And he goes out of bounds. It looks like right at the 50. And yeah, that's good for a gain of six. And it brings up third and five now. Let's not quibble about the gain there on second down. That was a positive play because that was a take what you can guess situation. Got out to the tight end. Now it gives them a much better opportunity to convert on third down. From the midfield stripe, they'll look to throw. And he is caught. And he's going to be out of bounds, but not before he takes it inside the 40. First catch for him. It's good for a dozen and a first down. And Brandon, from our time in college football, where receivers weren't running the traditional NFL route tree, one thing they did learn find open areas, find soft spots, and set up and catch the ball. And I think we just saw that there. Yeah, we saw that indeed picking up the first. And he maneuvers up the middle for three, and it's second down. Yeah, I don't know if it's exactly a win-win, but if you're on offense, you'll take that kind of a run, all right? It was kind of stacked up, found a little bit of yardage, and frankly, they're pretty close to staying on schedule on offense. The playbook is still open for the coordinator. Throwing on second down, it's Purdy. And he will find his man, Samuel. And down he goes, taking it inside the 10, just shy of the 5 at the 6. He got 29 yards that time. Press coverage on the outside, and for defenders, that's the ultimate risk-reward. If you take the risk, can you reward yourself by keeping him on the line of scrimmage? But no, not on that one. Got the step on him. Now it's just a matter of laying the ball out there for him to go get it. Shotgun now with Purdy. Touchdown, 49ers! Brandon Ayuk from six yards away. And the 49ers are an extra point away now from tying this ball game. Certainly there are good things about quick strike offenses that score fast, but a long drive can also work to your advantage as well. In so many ways, Brandon, because number one, you get them tired, but the big one is mentally. They can't figure out how to slow you down, how to get off the field, how to get the ball back. They go to the bench wondering, what are we going to do next time in order to stop those guys? Teams locked into a good one here. 21 all the score as the kick's away. Kevontae Turpin now to return. And the tackle going to be made right there at the 25-yard line. 
And now here come the Cowboys. We're getting closer here now to halftime, and we may need that halftime break just because there hasn't been much of a break in this first half. A lot of points being put up. Not much room to breathe, is there? Because these guys are going up and down the field. And let's face it, if you're the offensive coordinator for either squad, pretty happy with what you're saying. If you're the defensive yeah, coordinator, you're, not so happy. you're frantically searching for something that'll work. You're on the headset talking to your assistant. You're checking your play sheet. You're going through your memory banks of all the tape you've watched. You've got to come up with something, anything, that'll help slow them down. Searching for answers. Second down, eight to go from the 28. Now Prescott. He'll find Lamb. That's complete. And Lamb going to have a Cowboys first down as he'll get this up past the 35-yard line. Now a timeout called for by the offense as he'll stop it with just over a minute to go before halftime. So from the 36 now, first and 10. Now Prescott. And able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. A nifty bit of scrambling there. 12 yards, first down. Partner, there's a downside to everything, and the danger of man coverage is if you're locking down your target, you often turn your back to the quarterback, and you don't see him. Sometimes you open up a big lane for him to hit you for big yardage, and that was an astute play by him to scramble out, see that lane, and burn them for a first down. And he is tackled inside the 40, not quite to the 35. The Cowboys going to use their second timeout now. As the clock will stop with just under 30 seconds to go in the first half. Play fake. Here's Prescott. Throwing the out route incomplete. That's Ferguson. And they will get the first down here as they move into field goal range as well inside the 25. He's certainly done a nice job spreading the field on this drive. And here he finds his big tight end for good yardage. And that's what you have to do. Keep defenses guessing about where you're going to go with the football. Now a timeout signaled for, and they'll get it with 10 seconds to go before halftime. So even though it's first down, here's the field goal unit on now to try to get three before halftime. From the left hash, this will be a 41-yarder. And this one is right through. And with it, they'll take the lead at 24-21. So they're able to end that drive with three points in this one possession ball game. And ideally, you want to end every drive with points. Most quarterbacks would tell you, let's end it with a kick, right? A PAT, that's number one. Field goal you'll take. Punts, you really don't want to do that. In this case, they'll take the field goal and get prepared for the rest of the game. Maybe time for one play on offense. Seven seconds to go in the half as the kick is away. And he'll be tackled just shy of the 25. And the Niners ready to go on offense for the final time of this first half. And they'll have time for one play. That's it. Three seconds to go before intermission. All that remains is to snap this once, and that'll do it for the first half of play. So we've reached halftime in a wild first half. We'll take a minute to catch our breath as we'll send you back over to Orlando with our EA Sports Halftime Report. Here's Jonathan Coachman. Taken at the goal line. 
And that decision to bring it out ends up not being a good one. Costs him about five yards as he's tackled at the 20. The Cowboy offense set to go to begin this third quarter. They're rocking and rolling, but the scoreboard doesn't show a big difference. You know, maybe it's one of those games where coaches say you can't miss your turn on offense. I like the way you phrased it, especially with that. I love that rocking and rolling because the explosions on offense are happening. So that's going to get the crowd going. They're loving that. But defensively, they just can't get it together to get the stops they've needed in order to help increase their margin. They've got to find a way, but you're not counting on it. That's exactly what you said. Can't miss your turn. Can't miss your opportunity. <laughs> yeah, they're going for another opportunity now. Ball on the 28-yard line. Here's second and three. They'll run left with Pollard. And he's able to take this one up to the 35-yard line. 56 yards rushing for him now on what was his 10th carry of the ball game. We don't talk about it very often, but sometimes there's a dip in intensity when you start the second half, which can manifest itself in some sloppy tackling. And how about right there? He ran right through that weak tackle attempt. First down, and it's Pollard again. Nice his way forward here, but just three yards on the play. Second down. Not a huge carry there on first down, but not all of them will be. But still, all in all, a positive play for the offense. It's all about picking up at least a few to set up what you're going to do here on second down. Here's a second down and seven from the 37. Here's Pollard again. And he lost the football. But it looks like one of the DBs has it. And his guys are going to take over at the 39-yard line. And now before the ball changes hands, they're going to take a look at this just to make sure that they have it right. So that one overturned. They say the knee was down, and that will not be ruled a fumble. That's dumped off to Powell. And out of bounds on the other side of midfield at the 45. 14 yards, good for a Cowboy first down. And a good quarterback facing zone coverage. If he has just a little bit of time to survey the scene, that's what's going to happen. No doubt about it. If there's no pressure, he's going to continue to pick them apart because he'll have all that time to find someone open downfield. He can only cover for so long. So maybe they want to go through a zone blitz scheme. Get a look. look at this, middle of the field, a breakaway. And the stop will come inside the five at the four. A big play here for Dallas. 41 yards. We have seen big plays from both quarterbacks throughout this game, and there's another one right there. Going back and forth, almost like two excellent guitar soloists trying to top each other with each additional play. Pollard. A beautiful fake. It'll be a pickup of four, and it brings up second and goal. As long as you give the air attack, has gotten them down here, but now is where you start to lean on that running game. That's a good pickup there on first and goal. Pollard again. And he will take it in for a Cowboy score. A touchdown run there from a yard out. And the Cowboys take the opening kickoff of the third quarter and drive right down the field to extend their lead. So the toss play effective, even down here near the goal line. Yeah, and you're hoping the defense commits too many men to stop the run in the middle of the field and that your blockers can gain a little bit of an advantage. And when they do, foot race to the pylon. And this time, he had the speed to win that race. So after the touchdown, Aubrey now to kick this one away. This taken in at the goal line. 
And it's a pretty good return here as he'll get this up to the 29. Here's a look at the 49ers offense as they make their way out for their first possession of the second half. Well, the opposition laid down the challenge and opening drive touchdown here to start the second half. And Charles, now you feel like this group needs to get an answer because this all of a sudden is a two-score game. Yeah, you're right about that. What was a small, manageable spread to overcome? A little bit more daunting now. I think you're exactly right. Pressure is on because you don't want them getting the ball back with a chance to really extend this lead out. 15 yards is the pick up there and the drive starting very nicely. First down. Sometimes it's hard to believe, but there are times this game is about patience, isn't it? Has had the game he expected, but that run there, that may get him going. I was just going to say, maybe that gives him a little juice because you're right, he struggled, especially in that first half. Yeah, and I know the great ones always think to themselves, just hang in there. Just one big carry away from busting this open. That's a good start for him. And a nice gain and a broken tackle along the way. And really, we shouldn't be surprised, should we? That's what runners do, especially the best ones. They break tackles and gain extra yardage. Now a second and two. Play action. Now Purdy. This pass to Jennings, and he makes the catch. And he'll go down inside the 45 before going out of bounds. It'll be a pickup of four, good enough to earn him yet another first down. Back to throw, Purdy. Completes it to Jennings. And brought down, but able to get it to their 30-yard line. This duo locked in 14 yards there and a first down. Had to put that ball in there with a little extra zip, but he put it right where it needed to be. Yeah, and that little extra pace that he had on the pass, that required a little extra concentration for him, didn't it? Ball can get on you pretty quick in that manner, and he handled it well and picked up the first down. And this is what here? Incomplete, they say. It looked like it was intercepted, but he apparently did not get the two feet down in bounds. This could be the start of a nice stand from this defense now after getting walked backwards on this drive. Come through with another one here, and you have them staring at a third and long, and that puts the defense in a position to dictate to the offense. A second down throw for Purdy. Connects with Kittle underneath. That'll leave him with a third and two coming up. They got eight yards there. And he's the epitome of what we call the move tight end. A guy that you can line up anywhere. In the slot, out wide, in tight. Doesn't really matter because he has such great skills. You want to utilize him in all aspects of your passing offense. And there he was in the slot for the catch. They go play action here. Purdy. And he will slide to a stop. He does have the first down. Give him 11 yards that time and a new set of downs. It certainly appears that he's been able to get a read on how they've wanted to contain him in this game. He's seen some places where he can beat them in big spots, and right there, he slides in with ease for the first down. Up the gut, McCaffrey. And he's going to take it in. Touchdown, San Francisco. Christian McCaffrey. Taking it in from 11 yards out. And the Niners have got it back to within a score. So a strong drive here to lead off this third quarter and gets them right back in this football game. And I think we can safely call that a statement drive because they had to be saying, we have put our best foot forward in the first half, but we certainly mean business now. Maybe a better term, a prove it drive. They proved it to themselves that they were ready to go. So here's Moody back out there now to send this one away. Oh, 
And he'll get it up past the 20 to about the 22. Dallas offense set for this next drive. Pretty important third quarter drive for them. Momentum has sort of shifted the other direction after that last touchdown as they nurse this small lead. So Prescott to the Cowboys now with a first and 10 at their own 22. Off the play fake, he'll look to throw. He finds his man, Pollard. It'll go as a gain of four, and that's going to bring up second down. Now a give here to Pollard. A little juke, and he'll get it up to the 33-yard line. 70 yards for him on the ground now. He has been a tough man to bring down all night. That's a good, nice, crisp run for a first down. I wonder if the defense might have been loosened up a little bit, maybe anticipating a pass instead of the run that they got. So they'll come up first and 10 now from the 33. It'll be a handoff to Pollard. And he slips up past the 45 before being tackled. 14 yards, good for a Cowboy first down. Consecutive plays now where that offensive line has really created a lot of space. And we've seen the confidence rise, haven't we? It borders on arrogance now, and that's that good arrogance, believing you can run the football whenever you get good and ready. They'll go with Pollard here on first down. And he's taken down at the 50 after a short gain of two. Let's give a lot of credit to the offensive line. They've been able to move the ball really well on the ground the entire game, and while that wasn't a huge one, that's okay. They'll take them in short, steady bursts. This is second and eight. A give to Pollard, running left. And they get him behind the line, so that short gain on first down quickly negated. They give those two yards right back, and now they're looking at a third and ten. I'll tell you what, this defense hasn't played its best, but they're still right in this football game. If they keep making plays just like that, they're going to give their offense a chance. Still needing ten yards. Now it's third down. To throw is Prescott. Stiff-armed him. And he'll only get this to about the 44 as they stop him short of the line to gain. Give him eight yards that time on the scramble, and now fourth down. That was a good effort there, trying to do it on his own, but as a defender, you're in a tough spot because you have coverage responsibilities behind you, and if you take off too quick to try and get him down, he might loft it over your head. So better to track with your man defensively than try to go up and make a stop on the quarterback. Exactly right. What you're hoping is that your guys in the front seven can get him down. The 49ers offense now, they work their way back onto the field. And they had the touchdown during the last drive, and I'm guessing that you like the balance they had on that last drive. And I loved it. Forget liking it. Absolutely love what they were doing because to be ahead of a defense that much where every play call you have, run or pass, is working pretty well for you. Makes you look like a genius. It really does. It also lets you know that your preparation was pretty good, and now the defense has to do all the adjusting. He was unable to shake free there. They'll cover him for a loss of a yard. Well, Brandon, we could see that play developing, and they were hoping that he was going to be able to put a move on the first guy and turn it into a big play. But no such luck. The speed on defense continues to get better and better in the NFL. Pretty nice example there of those guys being able to run from their assignments and finish off that play. Pass incomplete, but the flag in the backfield, and this might be a roughing call. Well, Charles, sometimes we talk about the lengths officials sometimes go to to protect star quarterbacks, but that one, that was tough to argue against. Yeah, and I'm sure that everyone's going to say, hey, we're going to administer the penalty the same way for all quarterbacks. But when it's a star back there, even more so are they going to be diligent about throwing the flag. Now on first down, it's Purdy. And that will not to be. It's incomplete. So they couldn't hook up as time has now run out on this third quarter of play. So both teams trade touchdowns, and the third is worth through three quarters of play. This is the National Football League on EA Sports. Here's second and ten. Back now here in Santa Clara. 
It's been a very hotly contested game to this point, just a field goal separating these two teams as we get set for the fourth quarter. The improv back there, good for nine, and now they'll be looking at a third and short, third and one. Well, it certainly appears to me that the defensive guys are starting to look a little bit tired while he still has some fresh legs. Not the biggest gain we've seen on a scramble, but still some positive yardage on a play that initially looked like a sure win for the defense. Third down, here's McCaffrey. And he will have the first down as he gets this to the 47. 58 yards rushing for him now as he's run it 11 times. Brad, what were they thinking on defense there? They looked like they were playing for the pass. That was third and short. Yeah, it was an easy pickup because they handed it to him. That was way too easy. Just looked like absolute confusion defensively. Not sure why they were in that set. Yeah, I'd say you ought to have a few men in the box there. Purdy throw pulled in by Kittle. Only able to gain a couple there, and it'll be second down. It's vitally important to wrap him up immediately because if you let that big guy get ahead of steam up, boy, then you've got real trouble trying to get him down. But they're able to hold him to a short gain on first down. Ball spotted at the 45. Here's a second and eight. A handoff left, McCaffrey. And so we're into the and a good push up front, and he's able to navigate his way down inside the 30. It'll go as a first down for San Francisco on a pickup of 16. A big hole there. How about him handling the point of attack? Just positioning himself so that, that run could go right off of his backside and deep into the secondary. Purdy off the play fake. And it's knocked away and incomplete. Nice progress down the field, was halted by that incompletion. They could try for some safe yards here to get things moving again, or keep throwing it and pushing it downfield to try and pick up bigger yardage. Second and 10. Purdy now to throw. Trying for Ayuk, but it's intercepted. Picked up by Stephon Gilmore. And the Cowboys are going to take over once again with a football at their own 20-yard line. They'll run with Pollard to begin the drive. Fights forward for only about a yard up to the 21. They know that old expression, it's not my night. It hasn't been his so far. I don't know if the legs are a little bit heavy. Sometimes having to hang out all day and play doesn't exactly play to your advantage, but it's been a tough go for him. And every time he looks up, somebody's there defensively. That was the same case on that play. They go back to Pollard on second down. And the reinforcements come in as they're going to stop him behind the line. It's a loss of a yard, so it's back to third and ten. Now, obviously, that's some good work there defensively, being able to stop them and bring up a key third down. But if you're on the offensive side of the ball, there's an opportunity, because I know what defensive guys are thinking right now, to stop them, get to the ball. That means they might not be sound defensively. There could be some opportunities. And you said key third down. Highlight that word. Put it in bold. Here we go. And they'll get it all the way up about five yards shy of midfield. Excellent play there on third down. Give them 25 yards. And that certainly appears to be a critical conversion right there because not only do they keep the drive going, they take valuable time off the clock as well. They have to feel really good about that last completion. Pollard gets it off the option. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. Officially, it's a one-yard loss. That's going to bring up second and 11. When this offense gathers to watch the tape, they're going to like a lot of what they saw. They put up big numbers, but they might fast-forward through that last play. Oh, there won't be any fast-forwarding, partner. I've sat in those sessions before. You end up spending more time on the bad plays than you do on the good ones. It's just the nature of coaches. But I know sitting in that room, when you've had a big game, the night that they've had, you don't want to hear that. You just want to focus on the good stuff. The Cowboys on third down. They've been excellent. Six for seven. They're looking at third in the nose of the football. Trying to run for it with Pollard. Oh, no, he lost the football. But fortunately, he's able to recover his own fumble. That could have been trouble. 
All I can say about this play is that someone's living right. I mean, he's trying to gain yardage, trying to get upfield. Ball comes free. What's that panic that we've talked about oftentimes that you feel when you yeah, lose the ball? You can sense it. Oh, you can sense it. And somehow he got to it and was able to recover it for his squad. Anger is on to punt, and he gets this one away. And this one goes angling out of bounds, and it will be spotted inside the 30-yard line. And San Francisco gets set to go here. But not an ideal way to end their previous drive. They threw the interception, Charles, after they had built up some momentum. They were moving the football, but something to at least build on for this offense as they run back out here. Yeah, you're right about that. Up until that last play, everything was working pretty well for this offense, gaining chunks of yardage, getting first downs, really making a push for the end zone, and looked like they had a nice rhythm going. Now you got to have a short memory here. Don't focus on the interception. Focus on what came before it and get back to it. <laughs> I know we can't hear what's going on in that huddle right now, but I'll guarantee you at least one offensive lineman is saying, my bad, we simply couldn't move them off the line of scrimmage. We've got to do a better job trying to root those guys out of there. Now this throw caught left side. And he'll be out of bounds, but able to get it up past the 45. 15 yards there for number 15. And here we are in the fourth quarter, partner, and watch them drive for what would be a go-ahead touchdown. And you and I both know, this is where you need a quarterback who can keep his cool back there, not just for himself, but to keep the rest of the team relaxed, too. Purdy now to throw off the play action. This one into the hands of Kittle, the tight end. Now he's going to get this all the way down inside the 35. Chewing up big yardage. Another nice game there. This one goes for 20. But right there, he rose to the occasion late in a close game. It's something he thought about, dreamed about, and worked on throughout his career. Because in these types of situations, he wasn't going to allow extra coverage to keep him from getting the football. On first down, this is McCaffrey. And he'll be marked down at the 26 with a gain of seven. That play wasn't quite as big as the play that preceded it, but still, got to like the way they're moving the football, partner. Absolutely. Pretty good room to run on that last play. Yeah, they didn't get a first down, but still, you take runs like that each and every time, won't you? Now second and three. And throwing here, Purdy. Connects with Kittle underneath. And Kittle going to have a 49ers first down as he'll take this down to the 22-yard line. It's a gain of four there, and it gives him a new set of downs. That was a route run not just with dexterity, but with intelligence. Found the hole in the zone, made sure the quarterback saw him, and was able to make the sure catch and flip the down marker back to one. Purdy completes this one here to McCaffrey. This will be stopped about two yards shy of the marker. Eight-yard gain, second and two. Well, that's now four completions in a row. A good bounce back following the interception last drive. Certainly not letting it affect him, that's for sure. And we all know interceptions are going to happen. So the big trick, don't let it affect you going forward. Most of the good quarterbacks, they just tell the ball boy, get that one out of the rotation, give me a fresh ball, and let's go. He's got his offense moving again. And the Niners are going to have a first and goal coming up as the tackle made at the three-yard line. Once more, Purdy looking to throw. And this one will wind up with him losing yardage. Back to the four-yard line. Partner, you've got about 20 coaches on your payroll, but there's 60,000 of them in the stands. I don't think any of them like that play. And the later we go, it's starting to sound like 100,000 in here. Here now, second and goal. Purdy to throw. Forced out to his left. And across the truck, into the end zone. It's a 49er touchdown. Brock Purdy taking it in from four yards out. And the Niners have moved out in front here in the fourth quarter. 
and touchdown and congratulations and zero relaxation ahead of them, right? Way too much time on the clock for them to start celebrating. Yeah, part one is done, but now on the sideline, you can already see him scrambling down there. They're getting those defensive guys ready. Yes, you have to get those guys ready, and you also have to talk to your special teams guys. Make sure the kickoff is exactly what you want and cover it well. So following the touchdown, here's Moody back out to send it away. This fielded right at the goal line. And he'll be brought down right on the chalk of the 20. So Dak and the Cowboys down 35-31. A minute 25 to play. They've surrendered a double-digit lead but can rescue themselves late as they come up on first down. Prescott. That's complete to Leo. And they're able to get this one across the 35. This is where, of course, it's good to have a veteran quarterback under center. You would just be able to put on one of those blood pressure clips, and nothing would be different for him. He's done it many times before, expects to get it accomplished again. Plenty of time. All three timeouts still remain. Here's first and ten now. Meanwhile, Prescott's throw pulled in by Lamb. And getting this just shy of midfield, they'll spot it at the 49. Huge first down, got to hurry. Yeah, now they have to get up there, get set, and then spike it. Here's first and 10. Now Dak. And that was ball picked up by the offense. But here in the final two minutes of the game, this will be born dead. Only the fumbler can advance the football. So this will go back to the spot of the fumble itself. Here comes second down. Now Prescott. His throw incomplete. The way he's throwing the football today, almost a surprise when he doesn't complete a pass like having there, but he needs a few more to get his guys downfield. Well, the way he's thrown it leads him to believe that he's going to get those completions, and that means the guys going out for passes, they'll run even harder because they expect it as well. Here's Dak. Now a desperation throw deep downfield. And that will be incomplete. Well, they weren't scared to let it fly, but it falls to the ground and brings up fourth down. Well, you're at the point where you had to take the shot no matter the down. Now it's fourth down coming up, but that may turn out to be irrelevant with how little time is remaining. No choice but to go. Here's fourth down now. Desperation time. Prescott on fourth. He throws, and this is going to be incomplete. They had to go for it with such little time remaining. And the Niners take over in terrific field position. No surprise. They try to throw the ball on fourth down, but it gets batted down. They don't pick it up. A well, little football 101. When you're going toward that quarterback, you see he's going to start to throw. Get your hands up, Get right? your hands up, affect the play, and then everyone, get your hands up. When the ball gets to the receiver, moment of truth, knock it away. Well, the 49ers settling in for their next drive. And this one all over but the shouting, you might say. Now, there's one timeout remaining defensively, but probably no real need to use it here. Yeah, the only time they would use it, strictly for pride. Down to a knee for the 49ers. This one about to be on ice. 
The Cowboys signal for their third and final timeout as he'll stop it with 11 seconds remaining in the ball game. Purdy down to a knee, and that should be the final act of the ball game. So the victory here for San Francisco, and they were spurred on by a strong performance in that fourth quarter as they held their opponents off the scoreboard. Everyone wants to pitch a shutout for the entire game, but when you throw one in the fourth quarter, that tells everyone that you're getting stronger and dominance is starting to take over, right? The way that you close, the way that you finish, that gets preached to you from the time you're playing Little League football all the way up through, and they closed them out with a big-time performance.